It's now time to welcome Ori Moore from YCharge. And this is another company that's really got an idea and a vision that's going to transform how we all power our phones, amongst other things. So without spoiling the surprise, please welcome Ori. I'm, uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> All I think I can think of is the steak, so uh, <laughs> I hope I will, uh, I'll do my best. Um, so I'm, I'm here to uh, present YCharge. Um, uh, after uh, two successful startups, we are now uh, aiming for the moon. So the next 10 minutes, what, um, it's not a pitch, that's households. Um, I'm, I'll try not to be boring because we didn't come here to be bored, even though, um, and teach you something new, that's always good. Um, yet, you need to remember the name Y charge after um, I'm finished because I didn't fly EasyJet here for nothing. <laughs> I'd like to say thank, I will say thank you to Dor and UK Israel and Hugo because um, our last encounter, which was by mistake, turned out very successful for us. That's what I'm here, so that's why I, I'm here today, I to say thank you. And I will try to make you smile, it's challenging. Um, I did in fact in that you have a, a British sense of humor, and, and I don't have a sense of humor, so uh, <laughs> it's going to be tough, but a worthy cause. So let's talk about wireless power. Um, there is a misconception. If you Google wireless power, you, um, Google claims that there is, uh, there is already wireless power. Um, and if I'll ask you if you have wireless power in your phone, some of you would, uh, probably half of you would say, yes, we do have, but obviously you don't because your phones are not charging right now. Um, so I would claim that this is not wireless power. If you have to place your phone in a specific place that is by itself connected to, uh, to, the, to the outlet, that's not wireless power, and we know it. It reminds us of something from the past. That's a docking station. True wireless power should be over the air, from a distance. If it's not from a distance, it will not enable us the user experience of not being part of the process. That's, that's the real difference. Uh, you don't need to place your phone on a, on a pad to get emails. You wouldn't call that wireless connectivity, right? So uh, at the, same, uh, the same thing goes for wireless power. It should happen like Wi-Fi. Um, it's a transforming technology, and it's considered the holy grail. I'm not used to being uh, photos like that. It makes me nervous. <laughs> so why is, it, uh, why is it not here by now? First of all, there was no need before 2007, before the iPhone was launched. We really didn't need wireless power. But it's 12, uh, it's okay, you can take more pictures. <laughs> um, but um, there, we're 12 years past that, and it's still not here. It turns out that it is extremely difficult. If you want to get the power, the right power, over the distance, with components that are small enough to fit inside consumer electronic devices, you can't have a receiver that big to fit into a, a smartwatch. And to do it safely, extremely uh, complicated, but we're here because it's, it can be done. It's not impossible. Learn something new. Why is, why is it so challenging? That's the only uh, geeky um, uh, slide, and, but, but it's something nice. We do get wireless communication, right? And wireless communication, there is a router here that spreads communication, and, and, and it's power. Power is delivered to your phone that is then interpreted as communication. The amount of power that you receive, that your phone received when streaming a video, is one watt divided by a billion. That's how much power, roughly, you need to get communication. But if you want to charge your phone, your phone needs to, you know, when you buy a, um, a charger, it's rated 5 watt, 2 watt, 10 watt. That's roughly the number that your phone needs to receive in order to get to be charged. That's um, a billion time more. That's, that's the difference, and that's the challenge. By the way, I'm talking here, and you hear me, and I don't, um, and I don't use a lot of energy, but if I'd like to boil a cup of water, with me screaming, it would take one year. <laughs> okay, so that, 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 that we're probably aimed more for communication. <laughs> so it can be done. The key point is getting the, the, the power to the right place, and there are ways to do it. And, and we are in the UK Israel um, uh, meeting here, so I can tell you that the Israeli geeks solved it. And it's not very common that a single uh, company um, 
IP blocked the market, um, which, is, um, which is nice, I can tell. We are aiming for something big. And um, I can try to explain how it can be done, but that's not the appropriate uh, uh, scenario. So I'll instead see is believing. What you're going to see uh, in this movie, 20-second movie, uh, the rest, we, we don't need to show it's marketing bullshit. Um, you'd, yeah, sorry. You're going to see uh, six Lego trains running around. We can power devices that are either static or in motion. And um, uh, that's, um, it's, it's a new fundamental capability for mankind to possess and to enjoy. That's what we offer. OK. No batteries. This is our ugly lobby. But there's magic there. I'll show you it once more. Because it's something that's worth remembering. And no other company in the world can do that. So where do we see it fitting? You probably know it. Uh, mobile devices, it's obvious. Smart home devices, also obvious. Uh, prop tech, uh, medical, industrial. It's, it's a building block. What's nice about it is that it's common to a lot um, the, um, the basic capabilities just delivering power over distance. And it can be used by many different devices. We, we don't care. Um, the last bullet is nice, and I'll tell you something about it later. There is also a hidden treasure at wireless power. We will get to that. So, um, ah, that, that's a good, this slide is for real. It's not fake. I get, the, I get this uh, question. Um, these are requests to use our technology worldwide. Um, everyone has its own idea. Uh, uh, those dots represent companies, uh, all the companies that you know. Um, um, in different verticals and different domains and everyone has its own idea and we don't care because the basic module is the same. So um, in terms of where it can be used, the most immediate um, markets, or, or not the most immediate not, um, markets, but things that you can um, think of is public space charging, charging in, like in here or in, in every other place. Same as you get 3G, 4G, and 5G for your communication, you would be able to get uh, wireless power. Um, it's a new sizable industry, 100 to $200 billion market, probably, um, just for one application and, and it's mobile charging. Um, smart home and, and IoT devices, you know, the smart door locks, the IP cameras, the electronic blinds, the electronic faucets. Uh, everything can be wireless power, and the OEMs are coming to us. And um, if you look at Amazon, for example, on the best sellers for IoT devices, and you read the reviews, most of the reviews, or maybe most is because I'm saying that, but a lot of reviews is, <laughs> sorry, is battery keeps running out. And these are devices that are planned to be battery operated, and they have minimal power consumption because no one uh, we don't want to replace batteries all the time, and we can solve that. We are solving that. Um, and, and some IoT statistics is uh, this year, 27 billion IoT devices were connected, 5 billion consumer devices, and the number is expected to rise to 75 billion by 2025. I would say that's a huge number, but we already have 27 billion, so it's probably um, uh, not invented. Not <laughs> And only one question remains, and you can think of it yourself. Who's going to who's gonna charge them all? OK, with an average of five to 10 devices per person. Today, with two devices, we'll keep on running to get, uh, to get them powered. So wireless power is the missing uh, link here. And the hidden treasure. I'm, I will be almost on time, slightly, maybe 10 seconds later. So. When we think of wireless power, mobile is obvious. IoT, it's not so obvious, but you get there uh, half an hour later. Um, but the real treasure, and what I'm very curious to see, is applications that are not 
here yet because they can't be here because they don't have wireless power. And one such example is the next movie, which is not a, a real application. I'll tell you the story in a minute. Okay, so what's the story behind this movie? Um, Nissan, the car maker, they wanted to promote their self-parking car. It's a car that when you press a, uh, um, a button, the car parks by itself. So they produced that movie. It's a marketing movie. But somehow it got a few million views and people started calling Nissan, we want the chairs. <laughs> Nissan said, there are no chairs. It's, it's a marketing video. The people said, we don't care. We want the chairs. So from our point of view, and it's biased, you have wheels, you have engines, you have navigation system. The only thing that is missing is someone to charge those chairs daily. And the uh, interesting part is that those chairs, they don't move a lot during the day. So even our uh, smallest transmitter, which is roughly the size of a Coke can, can power an entire meeting room. We're geeks. We don't get to uh, imagine cool stuff. We're only doing the engine. And we, we, we're waiting for innovative people to come and wrap it with innovative uh, ideas uh, such as these. That's the hidden treasure of wireless power. It's not that there is not a um, hundred billion dollar market for things that we know, but I think there is, what I'm, I'm very curious about is seeing application like that. Last slide. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's, it's, um, I'm here because of these guys, um, and I want to say thank you. Um, they're doing an excellent job. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Ori, very, very much.